Hey guys, welcome back to another Architect React. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at all the places where architects have failed. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So this is something that was sent to me from one of my students and they pretty much told me, hey, this is where all the places where architects seems to have been failing. And can you take a look at it? So when we're looking at stuff like this, it's either a coordination issue, like in this one, this is just dumb. Like you have a ramp that is sloping at the same rate the actual stairs are going. No one bothered to actually put in a rail so you can slope and fall straight into the stairs. There's a lot going on in this image, but one thing for certain, this is not up to code. And a lot of these times, these mishaps are happening in like a third world country. Now this is just ridiculous. The fact that this even got built, that they bisected straight through a hallway. How are we supposed to walk through this? How's a wheelchair getting through here? Now, this could be a structural or an architectural misunderstanding. Like you just ended up throwing structure right on top of architectural work and said, let's go ahead and build this. But all in all, <laughs> this is just getting ridiculous. Some of these don't make absolute any sense. Like sometimes you have to question even construction, like has they even thought about like, what am I doing? Like just take the time to think, I'm putting a guardrail and a handrail across a hydrant that no one will have access to in a case of fire. If someone just slows down to just think what they're doing. So, and then some of these, I mean, this is a common issue. People dropping buildings on site. That means go back to looking at my context and concept videos that you're not thinking about the site and the slope of the site. So I can understand this band right here coming across and you're not able to access it because it got so wide. At one point, this was probably a foot off the ground or maybe just clearing it. And this is a sloping site most likely. And this side of the building, you can't reach the ATM because it's just that far up. So this might be just a site issue and you could tell even now that this floor is sloping. This is, this is just, okay, so this is, I wanna, I wanna keep it composure and say, hey, this is probably that there's a concrete storm drainage underneath it, which is not allowing this to sink along with this, but this should have been graded better. This just it makes absolutely no sense. There's so much water here and this one manhole just peeking out under the water. This is supposed to be the lowest point, man. This is where the water is supposed to go. But that, that one, you could say they only had one job. Yeah, misinterpretation of drawings. Uh, this, this happens. Um, that's why you need regular job site visits. These stairs should be further out, another five feet. It doesn't matter if it has to be on the street, but there needs to be a proper landing right there. So that's just misinterpretation of drawing. And even then they didn't read it right. Look at how this is just like flush concrete all the way through. I guess they realized that there was a fulcrum here that would just crack the concrete because it gets pinched so low. So they just filled it all up with concrete. That doesn't work. Uh, this makes no sense. Is this a room above a vestibule in a lobby? Is this, okay, so my thought is, is this a glass floor that I'm supposed to walk across? First thought. Second thought, how's the furniture got there? Why is there a vase and a window? I can understand the window part of the facade, I guess, but why is there a room? How, how did the carpet and the, and the base guy get there? And there's a different wall finish here and a different wall finish there. Oh, it could be just due to lighting. This is really weird. It makes no sense. There's a chandelier here, so I'm assuming that this is not a glass floor. Uh, that's just that's just poor planning. I don't know. They, I think this is just a just a nice joke. Uh, this is definitely a renovation of some type because you could tell that this is ending too abruptly. Maybe a room or a wall was added but these stairs should come to an end. If someone took the time to like detail stairs like this, there's no way they let that run straight into a wall. Uh, 
that's just dumb. This is another pool renovation. You can actually see the stairs steps and you can see this build out that goes on top of the facade. But that still doesn't justify the fact that they didn't take into account any ATM. I would have just stopped right at that line and stopped at that line and let these stairs continue. It would have been a great facade, but now this just looks dumb. I just don't see the point. Okay, now this, this is just, these stairs go up and they come back down with a landing. This is just, <laughs> this is just like a work in progress to a building. This is what happens when you use your commands for your software to dictate design. This is probably arrayed across and no one bothered to check the height of this wall. You're not only blocking this seating. First of all, you, you barely have clearance here, but you're blocking this and this. They probably don't have a view until you get up about the fourth row up here before you clear this wall. But this happens a lot in stadiums because there's a lot of mirror and copy and paste and array going on that people lose track of the fact they just drop seating right in front of, like they should actually put egress here. But this is another miscommunication here. <laughs> this column is going through a window and it looks like they try to silicone around to waterproof this pipe? Is it collecting water? I have no idea what's going on. This one, I can't even justify this. Like whoever built it clearly understood that they did this something wrong here because they siliconed around this thing, but this makes no sense at all. Oh man. Oh, what? These are accessible doors. You know, if you ever have somebody over that you really, really hate, you can say, hey, let's step out to the balcony to have a conversation and let them go in first. There's not a floor here. Did the concrete didn't get poured? There's a lot of questions here, but this does look like a functioning floor that do not, that didn't go all the way out to the balcony. All, like a quick fix for this would be to create false balcony or just get rid of the balcony and have these doors be shut off. Or just keep the balcony right against the window just to get that look. I just don't know why would someone do that. Spiral stairs are hard, but that doesn't negate the fact that you should have at least one, two, two, potentially three doors. Some of the spirals are going through the wall. This makes no sense at all. There's so much going on. Not enough answers. All right, let's just keep going. An escalator that looks like stairs. I know exactly what happened here. Someone probably wanted to put escalators here, but they realized they didn't have either the budget or the space for it, and they kept the handrails, but they made them stationary stairs. Very expensive handrails. But still, at least it functions as a stair, so it works. I'm seeing this trend in interior design all the time. They're starting to put curtains all over the place just to make false facades in or false interiors. This happens in bedrooms where they want to have a whole curtain wall. I'm not particularly a fan of this. They do this in hotels. It's just, it's just bad business. Someone expects a window back there. Um, Another thing, um, buildings can take shapes in many forms. As long as you have taken the time to analyze context and concepts, then the shape of the building shouldn't be the main driver. Now, I know this building looks like a toilet. Probably wasn't the main idea there. It was probably due to efficiency. But hey, the Colosseum looks like a giant toilet bowl. So a handicap sign. I don't see a major issue. Oh. Their stairs going to a handicap room. Yeah, this is probably a retrofit building, like an old building. In all, if it makes sense at all, these people probably should have hired an architect because they would have thought about coordination. Like this, this door should be not coming in through the ceiling. Someone should have checked levels there. Like they need an architect for this. Like I should be helping you with this. Boys, um, Brick pattern, I don't get it. It's actually beautiful brickwork. 
Is it the number 69? I don't get it. Uh, the brickwork is amazing, so. Uh, yeah, uh, plumbing, mechanical, electrical, whoever's out there doing this, common sense, man. It probably would have taken less labor to move this clock over. There's too much piping going on and joinery. This happens in uh, multifamily. A lot of times, a lot of mirror commands. Uh, there's privacy violations all over the place, but building that pla a place to get uh, close to each other, you have mirror going on. Now, this is also a quick fix. Like, groundwork could have kept up with the fencing. It's, it's kind of ingenious to actually do that with the fence to keep the post consistently in width. So I don't see a huge problem here. The ground needs to come up. Uh, you had one job. Uh, I don't see a problem with the roofing. It's the clock. The clock is not centered. <laughs> they just had to center the clock, man. I know you like, probably couldn't go with a smaller size clock. They already had it. Probably could have gotten rid of that window in an RFI or post-production. Yeah, that floating job. That's hard for gypsum board. Those two corners meeting, an inside and an outside corner meeting, that's tough. That could have been done better. <sighs> I've seen this. So some people use garage doors for like balconies that can transition into interior space. I particularly am not a huge fan of that. Go with a glass garage door. Uh, it's not really for a car. I know what people are trying to do there, but it's just a... Uh, a cheap window, if that makes sense. Now this this has no excuse. The guardrail, uh, cutting straight through the bicycle ramp. This is just ridiculous. Um, one thing happened after another. It didn't happen simultaneously. It's always evolving, but this is crazy. You shouldn't be doing, like you have to be cognizant of what's already there. This is what part of context study is. Like for example, like this rail guy only had one job. For sure, this guy should have thought about bringing the railing down through here on this side and let this railing die. Just be cognizant of your surrounding. This is something we teach in architecture. The balcony is fine. Oh, is the other balcony missing a door? <laughs> it's missing a door altogether. Yeah. Coordination exercises. That one facade that has one window. Yeah, that guy probably fought for his office. Probably happened. But yeah, they should be coordinating facades better. Or there was a building there at one point and they got demolished. You have no idea what's going on in the city. These stairs. Yeah, these stairs lead to nowhere. Is there even a door here? If there is a door here that goes all the way up, why, why is the person taking the time to shovel the snow from here? Someone thought about that? Someone took the time to build this. Yeah, a lot of energy wasted, but someone de uh, like shovel snow off. Sometimes as architects, we try to hit this symmetry or don't know how to kill off stairs. So we wrap them around. Could have been easier if you brought a wall straight down, even an angled wall that went along with the railing. It's, this is a tough decision by architects, but sometimes they just stack foundation. And this is tough. Yeah, this one had no no chance to save this. Uh, you're driving straight into a pole. Should have swerved the driveway. Could have been a lot of things that would, could have been done. The pole could have been moved. Civil needed to be involved and move this pole over to that one side. You'll hit it every time, man. Okay, so hopper window? Hopper window? No. A sideways French door. <laughs> A sideways French door. Probably the width was the same as the height. They said, let's go for it. Man, this is this is crazy. Ah, uh, this is definitely one of those garage doors being hit by wind. None of the windows lining up. None of the floors has anything to do with the windows. These windows seem to likely line up with the door. But what is that for AC? Man, this is just terrible design. Now, you can't help control the shape of the roof. I can't, I, I mean, if you see things in other things, that's a different situation, but 
Um, yeah, the drywall guy should have definitely moved the TV. This is not a, like, this is probably a public space, like an airport. They have no idea what to do, who has jurisdiction. They just drywalled right around it. Move the TV to one side or another, see where it serves, what function is uh, being performed by that one TV, and go for it. Another coordination exercise. Where's the door for it? Elevation changes. Someone should think where the stairs are leading to. Ramps ending in stairs. Huge red flag. Why are you doing that? At least the slope is right. I mean, they're doing something right. They're doing something wrong too. I don't understand this. Why is the stair dying here? Then you coming back up to go back down. Going up to go down to go back up? Come up, then come down, then come back up? No, man. It's, uh, floor level changes, not a good excuse. Uh, where's the door going? Someone who's installing the door. You install the window on the other side. Look across. Man, figure this out. This is, this is like... This is the stuff where architects needs to be there. MEP, civil, why is there a transformer in front of my garage door? That needs to be coordinated. These are all coordination exercises. Like architects need to be there. Welcome to Turkey. Well, welcome not. There's no doors here. So these are all the things that need to be thought about. This is what architects do. This is what architects are supposed to do. There wasn't an architect involved, like McDonald's, that column's not touching, probably a backup column. So if everything collapses, this column catches it. Uh, it could be also aesthetic. This could be an interior design feature. I don't know, to go along with the framing of the actual McDonald's. You have no idea what's going on there. Small design flaw, employees only. Oh, and come in through either side. It's just a window. <laughs> not secured. So yeah, security of the building matters too in architecture. And yeah, I can't help if the building is shaped some weird shape. Yeah, no one's opening these drawers. Yeah, these drawers are done for. Yeah, this wall definitely came after because you could tell this is framed completely around and then see how the base dies here? No clue what's going on there. Just let it die straight into the actual cabinets. And then this curb definitely came after. I guarantee you this was probably a property management decision. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this so people don't park here or something like that or flow of traffic. Whoa, this is insane. I didn't even know brick could do that without even metal. And this is something that should be researched. Like who did this? Where's the contractor for this? I need him. Oh, we need to have, we could have a whole discussion on what the brick was doing here. Coordination exercise. Architect, MEP guys, this is probably a mechanical room. Y'all should have coordinated this better, man. This is not, this is crazy. Um, so did the handicapped guy supposed to, did the handicapped guy died there? <laughs> is he buried here? I don't understand. Your tires can't fit this. Man, this is just outrageous. Move this door over. Oh man, this is like simple fix. Very simple fix. But some of these guys, this is installer fault. I'm gonna defend the architect here. This is an installer fault. Can't be doing this. Can't be installing a door upside down and blame the architect for this. This is not the architect's fault. Someone should be looking at those door tags more, more carefully. It's not an upside down door tag. That one's a, that one might be a skewed photograph. I have no idea. Is it actually leaning like this? Someone confirmed this building leans. That's insane if it got constructed this way. Yeah, this interior partition definitely came after. The, no one's gonna reach that plug, man. And it's so deceptive, you're gonna try to reach that through the glass. False window, false window. Paint the back brick black, man. That's, that's just easy fix. There are such things as false windows. Why is there balconies? It doesn't even coordinate with the windows. It's just literally just floating there. This is, this, just get rid of the balconies altogether. If whoever photographed this, just go into the building and be like, hey, get rid of the balconies. I'll buy the metal. Dang. 
Is it? Oh, it's for air conditioning. Okay, I could see that. That makes sense. They probably have drains tied to it. That makes sense. Okay, okay. This Navy building. Oh, the si see, this is another thing. The building shape cannot dictate its function. Don't ever tie those two together. Sometimes you arrive to it. Now, this is another elevation exercise. You level out your steps and you'll end up at a different level. That's an uneven surface. Yeah, it's sloped this way. And that road might be sloped that way. So you have to come up that way. So as long as that distance is under six inches or seven inches, seven and a quarter, depending on the code, then you should be fine. This is understandable. Now, this is not understandable. This was installed after. Parking meter back at the curb. Bro, what? Emergency stairs going to nowhere. Man, why are they even going up? They should be coming back down all the way to the ground. Why are they even stopped here and go back into the building? Someone didn't do their job right at all there. The town center, shopping center. Uh, I don't see a huge issue. It's actually, I like the way it looks. Someone carved the door swing into the plan. I have never seen this. This is so unique. I've never seen a door swing in a plan actually come to life. And how's this gonna behave when it rains? The water just floods here and wait for the door to open to come back in? This is just, who made this curb? This curb definitely was added after. It looks so clean. And there's a small pipe just to make sure the water drains back out. That's just dumb. Get rid of the curb. Man, this is just, this is just installation failure. Fence came after. Do not blame the architect on this one. The bench was serving a function. Look at this photograph without the actual fence. This works. It's actually unique. It's nice. Hope this door works. Hope when you, <laughs> you live after you come out this door. This is just coordination exercise. It could be an attic door. You have no idea. Oh, the, the rail had to die. No, it's not, it's not about the rail. The stairs die into the floor. How do you even install this? Did the floor come after? It had to be retrofitted in. This is probably a 1920s building or something. I'm, I'm just assuming there's a legitimate reason for this to happen, but Lord only knows what's going on. Yeah, this is third world country construction. This is not an architect. If they had an architect, he would have said no. Concrete pours on top of CMU blocks. No, that's a no. A structure comes straight down. The foundation doesn't even look stable. This might collapse altogether. This is just dumb. I can't even believe it. They could go even further. Keep going up. Yeah, again, stairs are hard to figure out. They should have dyed it here and brought it down with a stringer, but with a monolithic stairs like that, they want to tie it back. That's just tough. Yeah, this makes no sense at all. Like, look at that. Like, who, who's in that ridiculous pinch? And you could tell by the wear on the stair that there's been people walking down this steps and no one walks down this. Pressure washer all the way through, bro. Wait, why is there a door here? Okay, I can't justify this. Either the land was excavated later, I have no idea what's going on there. I have no idea why there's stairs leading up to a window, but I'm assuming this window came in after. Oh man, in case of fire, just lock it out. You're just, yeah, fire safety hazard. Uh, sign says elevator. Yeah, straight into the lamp. The ramp is literally going straight into the column. Oh, poor, poor des designed it. Oh man. Oh man. Wardrobe malfun malfunction. Yeah, this is all like retrofit work. And intersecting a sidewalk with the railroad. That's where we will end. So that's all 74? No, covering a manhole with asphalt. That happens on road. This is an asphalt guy issue. So 
Again, hire an architect, guys. If you want well-coordinated design, have an architect that understands elevation, that coordinates with civil, structural, mechanical, electrical, plumbing. Don't worry about the shape of the buildings. This is like ridiculous. Uh, like y'all are looking at it from the sky and expecting these images to like justify architecture. Yeah, the shape is kind of weird. Yes, I get it. The hook is upside down, but this is not what architecture is. Yes, there's been a lot of failures, but it's coordination failures architectural failures in some aspects, but majority of the time, construction needs to catch it too, and there should be coordination all the way across. With that said, continue liking, subscribing. Until next time. Follow for more content.